This is madness. It's just chaos. Please, have it it is chaos. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't like that. Nightmare after nightmare. Don't freak out. Oh my god. <laughs> we're stuck in the car. Good morning, everybody. Um, today's the day we leave. Um, yesterday's sunny. Today, don't know if you can see that, snowing. <laughs> it's snowing. It's actually snowing. Not to jinx it, touch wood. Don't tend to have the best luck. Snowing. It's snowing the day that we've decided to go on holiday. Um, so that's good. And there's a storm coming, apparently. It is half past eight in the morning. We are all packed. We are ready to go. Um, we're going to make our way to the airport now where we're going to meet my parents and my brother and his girlfriend. And then we are all jumping onto the same plane. It's going to be our very, very first holiday since COVID happened. And also our first holiday with like COVID airport rules. So we've got our masks. Um, we've got all of us like documents that we need. Um, and fingers crossed. Everything goes smoothly. Touch some wood again. Uh, and yeah, I'll catch up with you when I can. We're off to the airport and there could be a storm coming. So just please pray for us that we that we get on this plane um, and that it takes off safely. Little update, Jasmine's very stressed right now. Um, we are about 10 minutes away from the airport. My mum and dad are about an hour and a half away from the airport, stuck in traffic. Um, and there was a crash on the original road they were going to go down so they've gone way out of their way onto a different road and we've got their boarding passes so we can't go through the gate until they're there but they're miles behind and potentially not going to make it on this flight I'm stressed, I'm stressed, I'm stressed I also had the worst night's sleep last night last night, before I went to bed, I think the stress packing and this has never happened before but the stress packing made me a bit dizzy and then when I went to bed I had nightmare after nightmare after nightmare and then I woke up and this finger was like tingly and uh, hot and I was like what is going on and it was it was the worst night's sleep then I woke up to snow then the storm was on the way then mum and dad are stuck in traffic <sighs> It's just a bit much really, it's just a bit much. But the sun has come out where we are, it's gone from snow to sun, which is amazing. Look at that bright sunshine. We can only hope for the best. Um, and I guess I'll update you from the airport when things are going better. We've made it to the airport. I'm absolutely freezing. Um, I forgot to pick up my coat on the way out the front door, so freezing not dressed for this weather at all um my brother is already here so we're just gonna go and meet him um and then mum and dad <laughs> are in traffic but they should be here with enough time update we are checked in check-in took 20 minutes wasn't too bad at all mum and dad are 26 minutes ago away which isn't too bad at all um ben's just going with his girlfriend through security so we're gonna see how long that takes and hopefully not too long at all check-in was really easy feeling a lot calmer now I, I just have my bum bag and my suitcase with me and that's all i'm taking i'm gonna try and find my mum and dad now see if we can see where they are this is <laughs> this is madness um okay so i said to mum and dad uh, when you've dropped the car off, come up the escalator and we'll meet you there. They somehow slipped past us, came inside, went up the escalator inside, not outside. Then they're on the phone to me going, um, we can't see you. And I'm down below them going, can't see you. Oh, I can see them. There they are. <laughs> we are all together. We're all here. Finally. That was tragic. We've got... Uh, we've got 10 minutes to do a nine minute walk before the gate closes. We're not even running. <laughs> There's no point. It's my family. We're up and down the uh, shops, going to different coffee shops, getting different things for every person. I feel like it's much harder to travel in a group. Um, I thought I'd uh, managed to film a lovely like travel TikTok situation on our way through the airport. I haven't got a single clip because I've just been running around there for everyone the whole time. So there's our flight taken off. We're not on it. We've got a little bit of a uh, leg room happening here and our chairs are now uh, wiped clean, which is much more hygienic than normal. <laughs> you having a great time? Yeah, I am, I am. Please ensure you're wearing your face mask over your, both your mouth and your nose. 
You can remove your mask for a short duration to eat or drink while seated, but you'll need to put it back on. I can't wait to just put my bag down in the house and be done with today. Oh, Mum's looking for some sweeties. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think? We've got some takeoff sweeties, some Haribo super mix. My goodness. Currently, a bag of sweets is getting passed around. And everybody's going, I'll have one. No, I won't. I'll leave it. Okay, I'll have one. No, I need to wash my hands. Okay, I'll have one. No, I don't want one. Give us some. It is chaos. Mum's put a blanket on us. <laughs> Yeah, but that's because, because Jasmine's got a hole in her knee, so she's covering it over for I've lost my bracelet, so I'm pretty certain, like 99.999% I'm so sure, I had it on this morning, it's gone from my wrist, so I could cry, I'm trying not to. Doing some stretching. So cool. It's funny because I feel short usually, <laughs> until I see you guys. Just oh, that's, <laughs> that's what I did before. <laughs> You're too tall, he's just smashed his head. Daddy. I've never seen a family like it on all my travels. <laughs> never come across it before. We've made it. We're at baggage claim. This is the inside of my mask and my face. Oh my gosh, it's just all in my mask. We're uh, <laughs> rough to pick up our passport. Have you got everything? Nine seater car. <laughs> <laughs> We're all going, going on, on a summer holiday. Salida, <laughs> so down there. <laughs> Wait, where's the uh, Oh my gosh. Darling, are your yeah, mirrors on? <laughs> Don't no, that one's not popped um, out. Driving. <laughs> oh, 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 what are you doing, Mum? <laughs> oh, oh, I don't like that. Oh. Right, how do we get out? Of Follow here? that arrow. And then where do we go? Uh, there we go. Uh, you're going to go over and left. Oh, it's that way. Oh, we've got to go all the way around. Oh, no. Oh, no. My dad, amazing driver, but the van that we've got is absolutely freaking huge. It's a nine-seater, it's massive, it takes up half the road. The roads around here are tiny and narrow and like bendy and I hated every second of that. Uh, we're just about to get some pizza. We've got our starters. Oh, I think I want so we've got pizza. squid. I'm gonna steal one. They've all got pizza, <laughs> aside from me because I didn't want cheese. What is this? <laughs> wow, oh look at those ceiling. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah? I'm having this one. No, this is ours. No, yeah. <laughs> Off you go. No, Off you go. Find Where's the other three. bedroom? <laughs> three. Here you go, Mom. You'll be happy in this one. You've got a goddamn sofa in the bathroom. <laughs> Nick's gonna give us give this car a go. I'm terrified. So, right, we're on the right hand side of the road. Yes. <laughs> god damn it. Right. Don't freak out. Oh my god. Don't yeah, freak. I think it will help Nick if you don't freak Yeah, out. don't freak out because I don't know what I'm doing. You can't get out the door. Grab, grab a piece of hand bend and watch it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't get out of the car. Yeah, he's so cute. At the same he's time. so cute, but I just don't See know. See what happens when you open the door. No, no, no. Oh god, I can't get out of the car. <laughs> We're stuck in the car. <laughs> Quick, Nick, get out. Go, go, go. Look how high the ceilings are. This is the living area. Um, and then to the right of the living area, there's a dining area. And going back on yourself, the kitchen, which has a lovely big island. And Benjamin making some coffee. Oh, I've got coffee. Oh. Coffee. Is this coffee? Am I gonna like it? Yeah. I don't think you can hear me at all. It is windy. Coffee. Nick ordered an extra large. <laughs> it's a bucket. Nick, that's a bucket. That's how I want my coffees from now on. Oh my god. I've got a banana and chocolate ice cream, and Nick's got a dolce de leche, or dolce de leche, I'm not too sure how you pronounce it, but oh my gosh, they look amazing. Good evening, everybody. We are going out for dinner in a little bit. Um, I have put my hair up. It is still very, very salty. Um, and then I've just put on a little black tea. I feel like I overpacked, but now that I'm here, I'm like, oh, I don't have any outfits. I don't understand how this always happens. I'm always at home and I'm like, right, I need an outfit for this and this and this and this and this. And then when those situations happen, I'm like, where's my outfit? And towards the end of packing, I was like, oh, my bag's too heavy. And I was just taking stuff out to make it lighter. Didn't bring my hoodie. Didn't bring my leggings. Want both of those to wear tonight because it's a bit chilly. Wouldn't mind a hoodie and leggings don't own so I've got this little tea I've got a cardigan to go with it and then I'll probably just put my jeans on um and see how that goes hello everybody editing jazz here to end the vlog but also add a quick note as to why we are wearing life jackets on the beach because I can understand that from this footage the sea looks completely calm and friendly I would like to let you know it is not the beach that we are on pretty much always has a red flag letting swimmers know that the undercurrents are strong and the waves are big um, on this particular day we didn't go out too deep because of how strong the undercurrents were and I'm about to include some footage of the size of wave on the beach that we go on they are about two to three times our height they are absolutely massive it often doesn't come across in the footage but they are very very big very very strong as you can see I got taken out by that one and it came towards Nick and wiped him out and the camera out too so that is uh, why we're wearing life jackets it's for our own safety but I just wanted to let you know I hope you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you very very soon bye